Hello guys! Today we will color this Vincent van Gogh inspired sunflower. Vincent van Gogh was an impressionist artist, which means he did not want to paint a reflection of real life, but an impression of what the object or landscape looked like to him. You may remember we are celebrating him because he used to have a disability and we are learning about disabled artists in this month. So be sure to check out our museum, the Emoji Museum, to learn more about different artists who had a disability. And remember to always be respectful and kind to others because we are all equal. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you are actually going to erase the flower because we are going to be using markers and whenever we use the yellow, if you put it on top of the marker, it might get a little bit muddy and dirty. So we are going to erase the flower. Now that I have erased my flower, it should look something like this. Now we are going to go ahead and get our markers. And I am going to get a yellow marker to color the whole flower. We are going to do an underpainting, but with markers because we do not have paint. So let's go ahead and start coloring your flower. Notice that whenever I use markers, I am using a line and using my marker sideways to color and fill in every shape. Now you should have something that looks like this, and it's okay if you left some spots in white. Now, did you know that art and science go hand in hand? Well, here we have a flower, and flowers are a part of nature. Flowers attract pollinators or insects and create seeds that will someday grow into plants. So what I want you to do is go ahead and get a brown marker and we are going to simply make little dots around the first big circle. Go ahead and do that. Now notice that whenever I'm doing this, I am not going like this. I am simply pressing lightly to create the little dots. Now that we did that, let's go ahead and get our green marker and be sure to close your markers so that way they don't dry out. And with the green marker, I am going to color the next circle in the inside. We have it. Let's go ahead and get our blue marker. After we're done, we are going to get our orange marker. And we're going to place orange all over all of the three circles that we have we did it now I am going to take the same orange and I am going to outline each and every single one of the petals so go ahead and do that and make sure you're just tapping onto your paper now we're all done now what we are going to do is make uh, kind of like little dots right here making kind of like a little line going into the outside. There we go. Make sure that you take your time creating all of these little dots, guys. You're going to go very carefully that way. It creates a beautiful sunflower. Now let's go ahead and go to our stand. And our stem is the part that supports the plant and carries water and nutrients as well as plant chemicals up and down the plant. So that's a very important part of the plant. Go ahead and get your green and we're going to do the same technique that we were doing at the top which is creating little dots. Now that you did that, go ahead and get the blue and make little dots at the very tip of it just like this okay guys now that we finished with the stem let's go ahead and start on the leaves and the leaves create energy from the sunlight and you said four 
turning the air and water into the food and we call that photosynthesis. So let's get started on the leaves. We're going to do the same thing, getting our green and we're going to make little dots. Right friends, we're going to get the blue. And let's make that little line in the middle, okay? And we're also going to outline it. There we go. Now we are finally done with our plant. Next time that we come, we are going to be doing the background. So make sure you come prepared next time with your markers. I'll see you soon, guys. And remember to keep celebrating National Disability Employment Month so that we can celebrate people who might have a disability. See you soon.